Hey everyone, Ashley here with Ashley Talks Movies and welcome to my review of Bodies, 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 the new horror slash comedy slash thriller from A24. The film follows a group of 20-somethings who have gathered at a mansion for a hurricane party, but things start to go horribly wrong when a party game becomes deadly and real bodies start dropping. From there, it's a case of whodunit and every character is a suspect. Now before I get into the full review, a few things. If you like the videos that I'm posting here on the channel, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. Also hit that notification bell so you get notified every time a new video is posted. Okay, so on to the review. Bodies, Bodies, Bodies at its core is a murder mystery with some horror and comedy elements thrown in for good measure. But Beneath the surface, Bodies, Bodies, Bodies also works as a character study of these people who are basically part of Generation Z. And it pokes fun at that generation, but not in a malicious sort of way. It takes aim at privilege, social media, how people connect or don't connect with each other. And in many ways, it does it through the humor. And I never felt the humor was overdone in this movie or overshadowed the horror and thriller aspects of the film. I felt all of it was very well balanced. However, some of the jokes were not as clever as they should have been for this type of movie, which is essentially satire. The characters are all very young with the exception of one character. And at times they are really, really annoying and irritating. And they all have their own insecurities, which start to come out during the course of this night as you know they're playing this game and people start to actually die. I have to give kudos to the cast because everyone did a great job of bringing those characters to life. Because even though I found most of those people very irritating, I also sympathized with them. Um, and that's the credit of the cast and their performances. However, there were a few standouts. Amandala Stenberg plays Sophie, an addict who is fresh out of rehab. She shows up at the party with her new girlfriend, B. Um, she was definitely a standout in the film. And then B, played by Maria Bakalova, um, was also a standout in the movie as well. The film does a really good job of revealing different aspects of these characters as the movie unfolds. And, you know, I mentioned that they have insecurities and different things like that. But you also learn character flaws as the film goes on. And it's really interesting to see how these characters who essentially are all friends, but there's some tension there. You start to learn why there's tension there, um, how they really feel about each other, even though they, from the beginning, kind of put on this sort of like fake facade about, oh, it seems like everyone likes each other from the beginning. And then as things unfold, you start to realize like maybe they don't really like each other. And why are they friends? I didn't really know what to expect with this movie. I only saw one trailer for it and I wasn't really interested by it. It's actually a really well-crafted film. It is pretty clever. I mean, again, some of the, some of the snarkiness, um, some of the jokes don't quite land, but it is still pretty clever. Um, it's well-written. The, the characters are interesting, even if some of them are very annoying, and the performances are really, really good. So overall, I think Bodies, Bodies, Bodies works. And as I said, it's essentially a murder mystery. So if you go into it with that in mind, um, I think you'll really enjoy this film. So that's it for my review of Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. If you've had a chance to watch the film and you wanna share your thoughts, you can do so in the comment section below. While you're here, like this video, hit that thumbs up button, and don't forget to subscribe to see more videos like this.